Okay, so that's a much better start than I had last time, and we can change gears almost immediately. Hello reformers and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic and we are here at the swoop race on Taris and hopefully my wonderful <laughs> could, could you say that they're rose tinted rose tinted goggles yeah I, I don't think so anyway I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do this so I guess I can just speak to the race announcer and see what happens and there's Bastila over there you're here to race, right? Okay, let's see who your sponsor is. Ah, you're riding for the Hidden Becks, I see. Always liked them. I hope they can show these Volcars a thing or two, but I digress. Okay, you're registered now. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed. We've only lost one rider today, and we want to keep it that way. Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. Alright. Uh, what's the time to beat, I guess? Well, Redross has the best time so far. 38 seconds. Good, but not the best I've ever seen. I don't know if it will stand up. Same as usual, he was pushing himself beyond his limits and he hit some debris on the track. The deflectors kept him from crashing, but the force of the impact jarred him from his swoop. Don't worry, they scraped what was left of him off the track already. Just remember to hang on and you should be okay. You can hit the track whenever you're ready. Alright, so that's what happened to the other, the other rider that got killed. So that's not very good. Anyway, I want to race one of my heats. Let's get you out on the track. Okay, so I have no idea how to do this, by the way. I've completely forgotten from all those years ago when I played this for the first time. Hey, Sandra here. I hope you're reading me. Your swoop run is about to begin. Remember, just hold on tight and try not to smash into anything. The prototype accelerator should last about 60 seconds before it overheats and explodes. That should be enough time for you to finish your run. Good luck. The Becks are counting on you. Right, yes, anyway, so as I was saying before I was interrupted by Zadra there, I have no idea, oh, thank you very much, phew, I was really, really worried about them not giving me a tutorial of any kind, so yes, left click the mouse to accelerate and shift gears, use the movement keys, A and D to avoid obstacles and hit accelerator pads, right. Okay, so do I, do I just hold it? I guess I just hold it. Yeah, okay, so I avoid these, do I? No, wait, these are, these are the accelerator pads. Oh, okay. So I, I am absolutely failing right now. Absolutely. Okay, I get it. I get it. I understand how to do this now. I didn't before, as was evident. Alright, so am I... Oh, well, well, I actually beat their time very quickly. I guess we are using the prototype engine, so that does make a big difference. You did it! You got the top time! You just beat racers who've been doing this for 20 years! This is amazing. Someone who's never ridden a swoop before today comes in here and... Wait a minute. I don't believe this. Look at the board! One of the Volkers just beat your time. Who? Ah, it was Redros. I should have known. Alright, so I'm going to have to go out again and beat his time once again? That's not very good, because I actually tried pretty hard right there. What's the time to beat? 31.44. Am I actually going to be able to even do that? Because I actually, well, I think I will be able to because I actually did make a mistake at the beginning. But I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest, because I don't know whether I can actually go that much faster, to be honest. I think I actually had some pretty decent speed right there. Okay, so that's a much better start than I had last time, and we can change gears almost immediately, and then we can change gears again, and so on. And I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down just a little bit here, just to make sure that I don't go too fast. You know, I don't want to go too fast, which is gonna obviously make things very very difficult for me to win in the end, so I'm going to see what I can do about just maybe going a little bit... Wow, okay, that was actually a lot faster than I anticipated. That's not very good, because if this, if this guy beats me again, we're going to be in some trouble. Yeah, I've never seen anybody do that. I guess Gadon knew what he was doing. He picked you to ride for us. Now the only thing is to wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. Oh, okay, so that was it. 
Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the winner of this year's Swoop Race. Put your hands together and show your appreciation for one of the most daring riders this Swoop Track has ever seen. Through your skill and courage, you have done this wonderful thing. Yes. People, hear me! Before I present the so-called champion of the Bex with their prize, there is something you must know. The winning rider cheated! You're a damn liar, Brezik. Your swoop bike was using a prototype accelerator. Clearly an unfair advantage. Because of this hidden Beck treachery, I'm withdrawing the Vulcan's share of the victory prize. You can't do this, Brezik. You know the rules. Nobody's allowed to withdraw a victory prize after the race. It goes against all our most sacred traditions. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezik. <coughs> what? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus To me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! Oh, well, you're not a very you're not very pleasant at all, but uh, yes, thankfully Bastler is on our side. And hopefully these guys are gonna try and kill them as well. So I guess should I just should I just kill Brezik immediately, or should I just go for one of the Volcar guards? Guess I'll go for one of the Volcar guards and try and help Bastila with that. It seems we're actually able to kill these guys very, very easily anyway, and Brezik is not really sure what he's doing. Oh, he's actually attacking us with no weapons whatsoever? Okay. Oh, there we go. He's finally brought out a weapon, but I think it might be a bit too late. It might be a bit too late. As long as Bastila doesn't die, I don't think she can die. Can she die in this sequence? I don't think she can, surely. Okay, come on now. A little bit more damage, please. Well, this is this is certainly where having a little bit extra accuracy might come in handy, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to try and improve Flurry here. Okay, that did a little bit of damage. Maybe again? Really? Is it really taking this long to kill him? Come on now. Oh, there we go. Finally. Is that is that it? It seems like that's it. Can I can I loot them? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Well, maybe those bloody Vulcus will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I don't believe this. You're you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Well, my name's Zane Inventress, and I'm here to save you and uh, ask for your hand in marriage. I mean, uh, that's a little bit too early, isn't it? Anyway, uh, winning the swoop race was the only way I could save you. Save me? Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezik and his Volkers would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Uh, well, it is kind of true that I would have had a pretty difficult time defeating Brezik. However, I think that my distraction probably caused her to be able to get out of there. But, yeah, I don't doubt her abilities. I certainly do not doubt them. Anyway, I think you've got things confused. You are a helpless prisoner until I came along. I didn't need your help with those Volcars. <laughs> well, who cares? Let's just rise above it and say, we don't have time for this. Karth is waiting for us. Karth Onasi is alive? Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. 
You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Ah, what, what have we been doing all this time? Karth, um, nothing much. We didn't spend any time in any cantinas, that's for sure. Only a little bit. We were trying to find you, remember? Don't worry, we'll figure something out. Okay, we'll say, don't worry, we'll figure something out. We'll, we'll stay positive. I see. Now that I'm back in charge of this mission, perhaps we can start doing things properly. Hopefully our escape from Terrace will go more smoothly than when you rescued me from Brezhik. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. Ah, oh, well, it seems like we're all squabbling a little bit here. I don't really care for it too much. Uh, let's have a look. He's right, you aren't showing much leadership ability, or Karth, you can't talk to your commanding officer like that. I don't really care either way, to be honest. I'd rather just say both of you settle down, because they're both being relatively petty. So it's about time that we try to find a way off Taris, don't you think? Yes, you're right, of course. I apologize, Karth. This has been a difficult time for me. Of course, I'm happy to listen to your advice. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. Exactly. Yes. We do not want to be captured by the Sith. Thank you very much. Don't worry, I won't let that happen. Or, okay, so what now? Or, let's go find a way off this planet. Let, let's just say, let's go find a way off this planet. That sounds pretty good to me. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. Something weird happened when we first met. Like a vision. A vision? A vision of what? Of you fighting a dark Jedi. Revan, I guess. This is... It's strange. Such visions are often a sign of Force sensitivity. Are you saying I can use the Force? I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the Force. It would not be unheard of. When we first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own Force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the Force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. So does this mean I could be a Jedi? Or this isn't the first time I had a vision? Yeah, this isn't the first time, actually. The Force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision, if there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Very well, then. Very well. No problem at all there. No no disputes on my part, that's for sure. Anyway, let's actually go into our armor here and take a quick look at what we can do. I think this is my item right here. And... Uh, no, that seems that seems absolutely fine. Okay, so there's, there's not much that I can really mod here. Actually, wait a minute. Does she have a lightsaber? I don't think she has a lightsaber. I'm actually unsure what she's using, because she was using a double-bladed weapon like I was. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen there. But anyway, she is... Oh, she's actually a level 3 Jedi Sentinel. And we are a scout. I think the Sentinel is actually the middle-of-the-road kind of uh, class selection, which is kind of amazing, actually. So I guess we're going to take her as well. It's kind of weird. I, I hope she levels up to level 6 when we get outside here, because it would be kind of cool to level her up into whatever thing that she could spec into. What's this? You there, human. You are the rider who won the great swoop race in the lower city, yes? That's right. I have a message from Kandra's order. He says to meet him in the cantina. Kandra's? Isn't he that Mandalorian that works for Davik? Yes, that's the one. Given his connections, you can see why it would be wise to attend this meeting. Kandaris didn't say he why he wanted to meet you. He only said he had an offer you couldn't refuse. Given his connections, you can see why it would be foolish to ignore his request. 
Thanks for the message. A wise choice, human. I would advise you not to wait too long. Mandalorians are known for many things, but patience is not one of them. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Twi'lek man. And uh, as you can see here, Bastila needs to level up. So let's go and do that immediately. And she has absolutely awful gear. She's just using regular clothing. But I suppose, as a Jedi, what else she's, is she going to be able to use? It doesn't seem like really much, is it? No. Okay, so I'm going to give her... What? I, I guess I should actually go and buy another two... Two-bladed, dual-bladed dual weapon, I guess, and give her that. But I think for the most part, she's probably... I'm going to just give her this, because she can use it. And, uh... Yeah, I, I guess in general she's just going to be using Force abilities, I suppose? I hope so? I'm not entirely sure, really. And uh, yeah, she does have Force powers, as you can see down there. Anyway, attributes. What do we want to spec her into? What is it recommended? It recommends to spec into Wisdom. I, I think I agree on that, because that's actually going to improve her Force Power abilities, and I think that's really important for her at the moment. So we're just going to press Accept on that. And what else can she use here? Well, obviously, Treat Injury is going to be something we desperately need her to take. So I'm going to be specking her into that, and I think that's it. All right, so now, using a force power requires force points. Your light dark side rating affects the force point cost of some powers. The further you stray to the dark side, the more expensive light side powers become, and the less expensive dark side powers become, and vice versa. Uh -huh. Yes, I already knew that. I remembered that from my previous time playing. Okay, so what does she have? She has a whole bunch of different things here. Stun, Effect Mind, Force Aura... Force Shield, Cure. Cure might actually be really, really good, but I think she can't... Can she take that? I don't think she can take that yet. Burst of Speed, I think, is really good. This power allows a Jedi to move very swiftly, pressing his or her body to its physical limits. For the duration of this effect, 36 seconds, movement speed is doubled, and two defense is gained. Oh yeah, that seems like a really, really cool thing to take because the other things, the, the things that you can then take after that are really, really powerful. So maybe it would be a good idea to go for that. She has force push. She has throw lightsaber, even though she doesn't have a lightsaber. Don't know where her lightsaber is. Yeah, I guess we're going to just take burst of speed. Why not? That seems like a pretty good, pretty good plan to me. And oh, she can level up again. Yes, I forgot about that. She's leveled up three times now, hasn't she? Okay, so let's spec into treat injury a little bit more then. And she can now spec into something else. Can she spec into cure yet? Because that heals vitality, which is pretty awesome. What's this do? Force valor. This power increases the physical attributes and saving throws of the Jedi and all party members by two points. That's okay. I don't exactly know whether it's amazing. Don't particularly remember anything like that. Fine. Okay, yeah, it doesn't seem like there's that much that I can actually take otherwise. Because she's not a dark side. She's not a dark side Jedi, is she? As far as I'm aware, she's not, at least. So, I guess I could just spec her into energy resistance or force valor. That seems to be about it. So what does energy resistance do? The, this power shields the Jedi and the Force, absorbing the first 15 points of damage from sonic fire, cold, and electrical attacks. Uh, that doesn't seem particularly good to me, so I'm probably just going to take Force Valor instead. There we go. And she can, of course, level up again. So let's level up her Treat Injury. And I guess we can go for Awareness. Doesn't really matter either way, in my opinion. I mean, awareness, we already have a pretty good amount of that. And, whoa, she also has Force Immunity Stun and Night Sense. That's pretty cool. And we're going to be specking her into improved two-weapon fighting, in my opinion, because I think she has the ability to use a dual saber. As far as I'm aware, she can use a dual saber, so we're going to be giving her improved two-weapon fighting. Is there anything else that I actually want to give her, though? Because maybe toughness? I think she already has... So, uh, she doesn't have toughness, but I think she's probably not going to be in the battle that much, because she's probably going to be a bit of a healer for us, because we are going to spec her into Cure just now. There you go. Okay, I think that's pretty good. All right, so that 
is well. nice. She has a whole bunch of force power, as you can see there, which is also good. And uh, we're going to head over to the merchant, the trader woman, that was selling our dual-bladed Ishani weapons. And I'm going to try and buy her one of those, because it seems like a good a plan as any, doesn't it? And I'm also going to make brief stopovers at various locations as well, which we will be doing in the next episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.